objects and surfaces. The findings confirm that the virus survives better in colder and drier environments and does less well in warmer and more humid environments. And then I see the disinfectant, where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. I feel that I've found the perfect safety mask. I find that when I go outside and I wear this mask, people keep a good social distance. God bless America. This virus will have disappeared by April the 1st. Well, my hair and the days are getting longer and I'm on lockdown on the Isle of Butte. So let's take a walk. Where's the boys, but where's the girls? That's what I would like to know. Presently, Argyll and Butte Council are on a campaign to get people to reduce their amphetamine intake. We're now coming up to um, Butte Island Communication Centre. This is the hub of uh, communications throughout the whole world. From here you can communicate with Africa, China, New York, anywhere in the world. This is a lovely church which was on sale, you know, for two or three years and it's recently been bought and I happen to know the person who bought it, bought it for £80,000, which I feel is a bargain. I've seen the old people being interviewed and they say that this time reminds them of the war. I just thought I'd take a couple of aerial shots. As you can see, despite it being a sunny day, there's not really many people out. Just one or two people sort of walking their dogs and so on. But the water looks, you know, very clean, you know, and fresh. So it can be almost tropical here. A um, hundred years ago, there was a bigger pier here in Port Bannantyne, but um, and many boats came in, but that has pretty much closed. But I don't think the town harbours any grudges. So we can see, you know, that cafes and bars are all closed, you know, at this time. So the local schools, of course, are closed at the moment. I must admit, I didn't realise that Banksy had been here. Oh, even the toilets are closed and it's a massive inconvenience. You know, when you're walking through those empty fields with nobody around and you need a pee, you know, you just have to wait till you get home. So Butte doesn't just have, um, you know, walks by the sea, but you can also go for walks um, into the forest, which are very 
and convenient. Shit. Which way? Fuck. Fuck. Oh God. I'm, I'm lost. Was it this way? What, what, what way was it again? Was it, was it that way or was it this way? Oh shit. According to government regulations, we can take one hour's exercise per day, which I think is fair enough. I have full confidence in Boris and his good judgment. I, I'm shaking hands. I was, at a, I was at a hospital the other night where I think there were, a few, there were actually a few coronavirus uh, patients and I shook hands with everybody, uh, you'll be pleased to know. And, and I... really lovely old church which was built in 1830 and has not been used for the last 30 years or so. Unfortunately some cowboy builder bought it and um, all he did was strip the roof and left it, you know, in this state. Ironically he missed out the most valuable thing in the church which was one of the windows and a later owner um, sold the windows to somewhere in New Orleans and made more money than the guy who, um, you know, stripped the roof. So it shows you, you should pay attention to culture. Made a video a few years ago for a Johnny Cash song and one or two of the scenes were filmed here. I'll put a link below if you want to have a look at that. You can see on view here, you know, there's many lovely hedges, but unfortunately some of these hedges could do with repairs. So I've been thinking about setting up a fund to get the hedges repaired because I've heard that head fund managers make a lot of money for doing very little. So it really is a lovely walk.